Madden Football brings you the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. And it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Niners and the Pack, and it comes your way next. The playoffs are back at Lambeau, and the Timps, well, they're where you would expect them in the frigid range. Just how the Cheeseheads like it here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Coming up, an important divisional round matchup in the NFC between the San Francisco 49ers and the Green Bay Packers. As the postseason continues here on EA Sports, we're pleased to bring it to you. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And who has the edge here? You got one side that had some extra rest, but another comes in off a win last week in the wild card round. And it's funny, depending on which team you are, you say that that's an advantage. You'll take the rest, you'll take the week off, get your guys healed up a little bit and ready to go. But that team that's coming in off of a win last week, they're really excited to keep playing. They feel like they are hot and ready to go. One of two spots in the NFC title game awaits the winner here as we're underway in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. Veteran Green Bay quarterback Aaron Rodgers ready to go for drive number one along with the rest of this Packer offense. And he and his team, they were the beneficiaries of a first-round buy earned by a tremendous regular season. He'd been a little bit nicked up so he could use the rest, and I'm sure his teammates felt the exact same way. But now it'll be interesting to watch their first few drives in this one because sometimes getting the rest is great, but sometimes you accumulate a little bit of rust as well. Maybe they come out flat, and they can't afford that in the postseason. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. To throw, it's Rodgers. He gets this to Devontae Adams. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. To the 40 and no further, so the razzle-dazzle didn't get him much. A four-receiver look here. Three out to the left, one to the right on second and eight. Now it's Rodgers. He's going to let this one go deep. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Oh, Adams, what a grab. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 47. Rodgers throw taken in by Adams. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. The defense stiffens to force fourth down following that first down gain of eight. On fourth down on is Corey Bohorquez to punt. And he'll send this one into the cold Lambeau night. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. The former second round pick back in 2014, Jimmy Garoppolo trotting into place, looking to guide this San Francisco 49er offense. And when you review his performance last week in the game in total, I think that he understands and his team understands they were fortunate to get out there with a victory because he was a little tentative out there and didn't throw a touchdown pass. And if I'm this defense that he's facing in this one, I'm going to bring some pressure early and see if they can get to him. 
Maybe he's gotten it out of his system, and now he can be a little bit looser and play more for his potential. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. Let's go, and out Let's of bounds go. on the other side of midfield at the 45. A big play that time through the air. 38 yards. We saw these guys have some big plays in their wild card win last week, and they're certainly going to need to continue to put up plays like we just saw there if they hope to continue to move on in these playoffs. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Tackle made by Devondre Campbell. Well, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Third down, Mitchell. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's Let's enough go. for the first. But partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a second and three forthcoming now they'll throw with Garoppolo and his throw here's incomplete second play to drive now as he comes out on the third and three Garoppolo looks to throw looking for the end zone and this one dropped in the end zone. Uh, looked like a touchdown, but not to be. And now it's fourth down. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. So the opening drive stalls out, but the field goal does get him the first points of the night. And three points not to be underestimated. How about this, right? You're on the road, you're under the lights, national television audience. This is not a dress rehearsal part, but this is for real in a pretty nice opening statement. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. This one a little slow to get cooking, just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. Shotgun now for Rodgers. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scampling. And he'll be out right at the 35. And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receiver's breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. Partners, a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. And he'll be down at the 46. So they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. On second down, it's Jones. 
And he stopped immediately there. The Packers on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This time they face a third and two. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Ooh, with a juke. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Defensively, Jimmy Ward in on the stop. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. And he's just going to get rid of this thing to no one here. He throws it away, and now it's third. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Second quarter action, two minutes to go on divisional round weekend. And this is good. It was running kind of close at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And that will tie us at 3-3. So just enough juice to get the three, and I think that wind at the back helped a little bit there. It certainly did, and to me that tells me that that head coach knows his kicker and realized the wind was at his back. That's probably the outer limits of what he could make, and he knew the wind might be able to aid him and get that ball over the crossbar, and it did. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And after the field goal last time, let's see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. <laughs> they weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Deep ball now on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Grant Moore going to try and throw on third. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to move the sticks with a gain of four on third and inches. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And that one gonna be off target and incomplete. Second and 10, a very chilly day here, but no snow. And I gotta say, if it's gonna be this cold, I want snow. <laughs> you should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. Touchdown! Brandon Ayuk, 53 yards. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. Well, you're not going to hear Jimmy Garoppolo mentioned among the strongest arms in the league, but that doesn't mean he can't beat you with a long one. And as that ball was hanging in the air with the receiver streaking downfield to meet it, here in the stadium, you could just sense the crowd thinking, oh, no. And their worst fears were realized as that one turned into a long touchdown. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. And it is up. <laughs> And it's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now. That time, a six play drive. And it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Rodgers on the return. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. The Packers with a football here late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. 
Here's Rodgers to throw. That's complete to Cobb. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. A final shot before half for Rodgers. He hits Adams complete. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC Divisional Round matchup as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, this is the second of four games this weekend as we narrow the field down to the four teams who will meet in the league championship games next Sunday. We'll get back out to you guys in just a moment. But first, let's take a look ahead to tomorrow's other divisional round game in the NFC. And it looks like we've got a good one in store, as it's going to be the Los Angeles Rams matching up against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We continue on with a check of the next-gen stats in that first half for the Niners. And even though they've got a halftime lead, they're likely devising ways as we speak to try and get a little more production from their passing game. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Now it's Wilson. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three. And they're in the position they expected to be in. They've got the lead, home crowd behind them, and they're looking toward making that next step in these playoffs. And I think a key for them is to put together some good, long, extended drives. Work to run in a little more with that big offensive line. I'm not saying get away from throwing the football. That's still working, but they run it more effectively. They may get even bigger plays in the passing game. On second down, it's Mitchell. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. They'll keep it on the ground. Mitchell, and he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Play action. Garoppolo. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Right back to Mitchell on second down. Despite the strong run, he'll be hit and dropped shy of the 45. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. To throw, it's Garoppolo. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Mitchell. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So they will tread back on the penalty. Oh, they're going to get coached up and they're going to get yelled at a little bit. But let's face it, it is hard not to do at the speed and pace that they play. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Here comes the 49ers punter now. As he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. That'll be out of bounds, and how good was that? They'll say the three-yard line. That's where they spot it. 
That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. They'll begin the drive with a run by Dillon. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards. Second down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Again, it's Dillon. And he'll take this one up to about the 13. Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. A bullet throw, but incomplete. On now is the Packers punter, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Niners will go on offense first and ten. Set to take over again here on offense, Jimmy G and the 49ers. He's been pretty solid, pretty consistent, just the one touchdown pass, but I think he's managed the game well, no? I would agree with you, and that's what you're looking for out of your field leader, making sure that you're playing well and not making any big mistakes. Oftentimes, that's how you're judged, how big a mistake and when it occurs. No interception so far, but like that. I just want you to know that you agree with me, that's going to get me through this third and fourth quarter. Are you touched? <laughs> He's patting his heart, boys and girls. He's touched. Respect. Garoppolo on first down. Got a man. That's Ayuk. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Let's go. Let's go. One quarter remains for a trip to the NFC title game. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now at Lambeau. It's 49er football here. They've got the lead as well as we get set to start the fourth and final quarter. On first down, Garoppolo. That's going to be caught by Samuel. A gain of six there on first. On second down now, it's Mitchell. And not much, maybe a yard down to the 23. The Niners on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. Here it's third and three. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Open man is IU complete. And all the way down inside the five to the four. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating defensively. Touchdown, 49ers! George Kittle from four yards out. And the 49ers are moving closer to a date now in the NFC Championship game as they're able to extend this fourth quarter lead. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury, and it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run, and he finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Goal to add the extra point. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. Rodgers on the return. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And this could be the defining moment of their season, all hyperbole aside. You're trailing here in the fourth quarter, the divisional round, and they need to come up with something as they get this drive started. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. To throw, it's Rodgers. 
He's going to take another shot here. And got his man complete. Touchdown, Packers. Marquez Valdez Scantling, 79 yards. And the Packers have made it a one score game again here in the fourth. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. Well, in this league where coordinators worry so much about drawing up the right routes, blocking assignments, misdirections and stuff, they have these precise arrows and movements. Sometimes the best plays just come from the schoolyard where you look at your fastest guy and say, go long, go get it, big man. And if you want the final metric on his top speed, and trust me, you do, next-gen stat says he hit 22 four miles an hour. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And this has been a tight game to this point. Of course, they usually are at this juncture of the playoffs. But with the lead and the football, the clock right now, their friend, as they try to book their spot in the conference championship next Sunday. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. On second down, it's Mitchell. The limited running room as he'll get about three to the 21. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Rashawn Gary in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And here's Rodgers on the return. It's a 39-yard punt, eight on the return, and the Packers will have a short field to work with here as they take over first and 10. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And this is a unit that needs to get in gear if they want to play for a conference championship next weekend. Down seven here in the fourth and a very critical drive upcoming. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off near the 42, and they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. A few things better than a big man interception. You can always tell right when they get the football, there's that level of excitement and nervousness and also, like, what the heck do I do with this thing? <laughs> and you say, no better sight? Well, not for the quarterback who just threw it. It's bad enough to throw a pick. But a throw one to the big guy, but you're right about that. Now what do I do with it? But what's fun about it is you know they're going to be in the film room after this ball game, telling all their teammates, maybe I should shift over to offense. I've got skills. What do you think? <laughs> oh, absolutely. I always find myself cheering for them after they intercept it. Unfortunately here, he couldn't make it into the end zone. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. This is a big third down, and you have to think we'll see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll keep it on the ground. Mitchell, and he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. They'll run on first down. Mitchell, and he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Second down now. 
It's Mitchell. A gain of a yard gets him back where they started. Now it's third and ten. So here we go. Charles third down. Any chance you throw? I don't think so. I think he had to keep the ground on him. So indeed they did keep it on the ground, but now it's fourth down. So this one's maybe not quite over. The clock is still there. I'll add that. So just no panic here. Let it run all the way down. And he's not going to get anywhere close to the marker as they'll stop him well short of the yellow line. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. So now Rodgers in the pack, trailing 17-10, 20 seconds to go. They need a touchdown here to try to force overtime, but they've got the support of this playoff record crowd. First and 10. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. After the incomplete pass here now, is second and ten. To throw is Rodgers. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, one side moves on, and then, of course, there's the other side, and now they face what they don't want to face, and that's the offseason. Think about the journey just getting to this game. Preseason, right? The OTAs and mini camps before that. Going through the regular season, fighting and scratching and clawing to make it to the playoffs, and then to get to this game, one game short of a conference championship, they'll have the whole offseason to think about it. Let's see if they use it as motivation.